Hello everyone and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we have created this amazing looking and very different looking slide and you can definitely use it for your cover slide or to present any information in a very beautiful manner and this is the second option slightly different so please subscribe to our channel so you can watch the latest uploads so these are our popular uploads and you can also learn about excel 3d isometrics and these are the videos so just subscribe like share and if possible join the membership so this is the slide and these are all the components that you have to design in order to create this slide so if you see there are these nine components in total three are the waves four are the bases and two are the text so this is the blank canvas and let's start with creating the first component so you need to insert this rectangular shape remove its outline and the kind of color scheme we are using it's purple and bluish so now go to edit points and add one point here and slightly move it downwards and we want to create a very nice looking curve so change it to smooth point and then use these anchor points to you know create a smooth curve here slightly move it upward i mean stretch it towards the top So just try to make it smooth try to spend more time here so this is one of the most important step it should look very smooth now we need to fill the gradient color in the background and for this we need seven steps seven stops gradient and we have already placed a color scheme at the top so let's pick the eyedropper tool to fill the color in all the gradient stops so you need to remember the position here of all the gradient stops especially for the five stops in the middle So now we have filled the colors in all the gradient stops. Now let's do the next thing. Select this curve and change its color to white. And now let's design the second component, the second wave. And you don't have to be very perfect in terms of designing this wave. Everything is just randomly placed, the overall design. So be more creative and try to be different when you will practice this slide. And now, now we have filled the same gradient as we have filled in the background, but we have reversed the direction. The blue is towards the left and purple is towards the right. Now let's remove this extra portion of the shape by using subtract option. First select the wave and then the rectangle and then click on subtract. That's the rule. Now just move these sliders slightly here and there to get a more realistic and 3D look in the wave and you'll see some depth. It looks like some kind of, you know, that it, it, it looks more realistic. So just try to you know, move these sliders and see what, what looks good here. So I think this is pretty nice, pretty clean and this is close to what I want. So I've removed few gradient stops to make the color more smooth, the flow of color from left to right. So this is all possible when you experiment with the gradient stops, then you will come to know like 
what combination is working and what not now let's create one more the third component the third wave this wave is slightly larger and more you know with ups and downs and now again fill the gradient remove any outline and let's remove the extra portion of this shape for that you need to place these rectangles on left right and bottom Now again first select the wave then the rectangle and then subtract that's the rule so now you can see the second wave is also ready now let's design the next wave the fourth one the fourth component and you can start from here and just draw this curve so this wave will overlap this white portion And just try to copy the way I'm doing on the screen so you need to connect it with the starting point then the wave will be completed so this is the weird looking shape we have designed remove the outline fill gradient and again we will remove the extra portion first send it to back let's keep it at the front Let's first remove its extra portion. Again, you need to draw these rectangular shapes to subtract the extra portions. Place one at the right, one at the left, and one at the bottom. Select the wave and then subtract. Now you need to duplicate this white wave, the very first wave we had created. Select this white wave and then duplicate and paste it at the top and make sure it is well aligned like this and now insert a rectangle shape and place it to the right and subtract this white wave and now select this wave and then this white wave that we had subtracted and then press subtract now you need to adjust the gradient on the first gradient stop and on the second increase the transparency to 100% and on the third as well you can keep it above 80 so we want to give it a very nice look like from the left it is slightly transparent and from the right the colors are pretty much visible so this will give a very nice and 3d kind of look to this wave like it's overlapping and flowing above this white wave and apply the shadow effect increase the blurness and slightly the transparency and you can see it has started looking really beautiful and it looks like it's flowing above this white wave like a water and then you can you know make it look more good by adjusting a few things like height weight of the waves and the colors if you want so i've slightly stretched it to the top so the waves are equally distributed on the slide Let's 
duplicate the slide and we will create the wave pattern here for that you need to design this one wave a pretty lengthy wave from left to right fill gradient color and fill purple and blue color I mean the color scheme that we are following and choose the gradient type as linear and now place it at the top press ctrl D to duplicate and place the second wave just below the first wave and just keep on pressing the ctrl D to duplicate and you will get this beautiful mesh or a pattern of wave now just paste it, paste it here and slightly increase the transparency on the first gradient stop and slightly move the second gradient stop to the left and you can see the output it looks really beautiful and also you can you know decrease the width of the line to 0.75 or 0.5 now let's create the second pattern here so these are just random patterns and we need to create two or three patterns increase the length make sure the wave starts from way left to the extreme right beyond the slide canvas area again fill the gradient color Control D and place the second wave and just press Control D multiple times to create this beautiful mesh and then group all the waves and just paste it on the slide. We can adjust the transparency levels on both the gradient stops. So similarly we can create one more wave and I'm not gonna show it on in this video. I want you to practice it. So this is the third wave at the top if you see that that's the wave that we have created and also we have added the text and the button here so so let's add some animation and for that you need to go to selection pane and identify the three layers so these are the three groups and these are the three waves so let's start animating these waves and we need motion paths effect So select the right and decrease the distance between these two points the green and the red so this is the distance it will travel from left to right go to effects option start with previous auto reverse go to timing and repeat until the end of the slide and then you can adjust the timing make it like four to six seconds make it long. I mean uh, I mean increase the timing and similarly apply the animation effects on the other two layers as well so select the second layer group 63 go to animation again motion paths and let's go to left this time start with previous right click go to effects option click on auto reverse and apply the loop repeat until end of the slide increase the timing if you keep the timings you know less then it will not look very good you know the animation will look very fast and it should look natural so that's why increase the timing and similarly apply the animation effect on the last one Let's pick left again. Again, the steps are similar. Start with previous. Increase the duration. Make sure that duration is different for all these three layers. Repeat until end of the slide. And apply a delay on the third one. So that it start after a after a few milliseconds so here is the final output and you can see it looks beautiful especially the animation of the waves 
it looks very natural and this is also the second option that we have designed i hope you will like it so please let us know your feedback in the comment section also please like this video the more likes you will give the more visibility our videos will get also please do subscribe let's target 200,000 subscribers and we will see you guys in our next video till then bye bye enjoy and do not forget to download this template from the cheat drive link provided in the video description